Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, another Treehouse beer. We are actually kind of on a roll with Treehouse. And I make no apologies for that. When you are fortunate enough to have amazing people share amazing Treehouse beers, you got to review them, right? Uh, this is... I don't even know how, how do you pronounce it? But 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 right <laughs> reminds me of a uh, uh, what was the Jim Carrey movie where he's uh, me myself and Irene, but he was the motorcycle cop right? And when he was leaving, he's like bye 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 bye. I fucking love that movie. That movie's really underrated, by the way. Uh, we don't need to talk about movies, but uh, this is their double IPA. It's bright, which is seven point eight percent alcohol by volume, uh, and it says extra kettle and extra dry hopped. I do believe bright is. 100% mosaic hopped. Um, I actually, I love Bright. I am hashtag Team Bright. Um, the original, I think the very first canning they did of this was a couple years ago and I reviewed that and I gave that beer a 100 out of 100 and I stand by that grade. I love Bright. Um, it's much more of a West Coast style beer for me. I actually, I haven't had Bright in a really long time, um, but it's one of those beers. I just, I don't think it gets the respect that it deserves. I, I really think they, we just, all the juice donkeys just kind of get like caught up and oh everything's it's not juicy enough bro and this is one of those beers that it's not like that super murky appearance that smells fantastic um it's not like that super murky super hazy thing so people kind of write it off i just think we need to put some respect on bright's name so uh this comes courtesy of my man carlos this was canned on january 3rd i think i forgot to look before i opened that i'm way too excited <laughs> uh Sorry, January 30th. So we are, today's March 2nd. We are just over a month old. Um, and as you can see, look at that. This looks like, God, this looks fucking awesome. It's glowing. It looks like a lager. It is super pale, straw yellow. It probably looks uh, darker on camera, but this looks like lemonade. And I can see with the light out here, my finger right here, I can see the shadow of it. It's not hazy. It's that, it does, it looks like, a, it looks like a, an awesome lager. A uh, huge two finger of just super fluffy head. Looks marshmallowy. It looks amazing in that proper glassware. Uh, <clears throat> Harlow sent me the glassware too, so. This review with the beer and the glassware comes courtesy of you. I appreciate you, sir. Um, let's go ahead and smell this one. I can smell it as soon as I opened it. Yeah, that's mosaic. This, I love mosaic. It's got this sweet berry note, and I talk about that a lot. Um, I've never been able to really pinpoint which berry it is per se, but it also has, it stays true to like old school West Coast beers that I like. It's got this earthy, grassy, it's very like herbal. This, this does, this has that hard candy thing. This doesn't have, <clears throat> and it doesn't look it in appearance. I don't know if they use, uh, do they use different yeast for this? I have no idea. It doesn't have that bubble gummy thing that we've been getting from Treehouse beers lately. This just smells, it sounds dumb saying this, but this smells super crisp and really clean. Um, just think of like intense, honestly, like it blades of grass, herbs that you cook with, um, and then the sweet, awesome, like berry, tropical fruity thing. Again though, I mean, this is double dry hopped, I think is what they're saying. Um, it's so soft, Treehouse just has that it's that signature just soft aroma it smells amazing there's even like a little bit of like crusty kind of bready thing this definitely is not it doesn't smell like one of those hazy juice bombs this smells like a beer to me this smells like summertime this smells like something just by smelling it this is something during a base like could you imagine sitting at fucking fenway in boston and drinking this that'd be whatever let's drink it carlos cheers thank you sir That's, that is so delicious. This is a beer people have been commenting on videos. They say they're getting juiced out. Bright is the beer that you want. This is not one of those hazy, murky, juicy beers. This is a beer. This is so clean. Gosh, it's, I, we might drink the whole thing on camera. That's, I mean, seriously, it's so easy drinking for 7.8%. There is not a hint of booze. And staying true to Mosaic, just as I'm talking, um, there's a nice, like, earthy, gritty kind of green 
a little bit of a dank thing. It doesn't go crazy dank like West Coast beers do. It stays like that soft, like I said, the aroma was out on the soft side. There's just this soft kind of, it is, it's like this little like green dank thing. It's, oh my gosh, it's so clean. I love it. Um, it's, the taste falls a nose. It's, just think of like grassy herbal. There's a little bit of citrus fruit in there. Like, it's almost like a lemon lime thing. Um, and on the finish, it's, it is. It's like this sweet kind of berry. What is that? I think, I think citrus zest is probably a good descriptor for that. Cause it kind of goes to that citrus acidity thing that we talked about. This is so good. I wish I could like better tell you what I'm tasting. It's so different than all the beers that we've reviewed lately. And if you gave this to me blind, I don't think I would be able to tell you this is a treehouse beer just because it's not that crazy, hazy, you know, soft, juicy, bubble gummy, um, really full mouthfeel. This is on like the kind of thinner side but it works with the hops that it, it just, it works perfectly with what they're doing. This is a crusher for an 8% beer that this is, this is the absolutely perfect summer beer. I know the ABV is a little, a little high for sitting on your porch and wanting to like drink four or five of these cause you'd be hammered. But this beer is straight fire. I love it. This is so good. Wow. Um, yeah, as I'm talking more and just as it's warming in my hand, it's got this awesome kind of sweet tangerine orange peel thing. It just kind of stays on your lips when, <laughs> when you're done drinking it. It is, it's got a good bitterness to it, a good citrus bitterness. And I just think Mosaic does that. It's, oh, it's so good. I love it. Um, I gave Bright 100. I have no problem keeping that score 100 and this beer is that just cranked up a bit. So. I know a lot of people will say that that score is dumb, but it's my score, so <laughs> it, it is what it is. You can disagree, that's fine. I like talking to people about it. Um, if you don't like Bright, leave a comment. It'd be fun to, to hear why. And it, I'm sure a lot of it will be, it's not what they want right now. A lot of people, like I said, everyone's on the whole juice craze, haze thing. Um, that's fine, because more of this for us. I would drink this all day, every day. It's amazing. January 30th, right? Yeah, January 30th. So um, if you guys have cans of this, drink it right now. It's amazing. Um, I can't imagine what this was like really, really fresh. I mean, we're only a month old, but I bet you like kind of same day. I bet you was really kind of in your face, dank, herbal, green, gritty. I love that about this beer. So yeah, that's right. Courtesy my man, Carlos. Thanks so much for sending that one, sir. If you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.